back to my YouTube channel. To um, I do just want to start out this video by saying, like, I'm going to tell you the honest truth about what happened um, for this story. But, like, just because I'm saying the honest truth about what happened doesn't mean that I'm not, like, satisfied, I guess. Um, I just want to, like, point that out from the beginning because usually when I do videos like these, I feel like I always do like bad reviews or something um and I mean what happened was a little bit shite but at the same time I'm very satisfied with what I got and what I purchased so jumping right in I ordered from Gymshark clothing which you guys probably have seen 80,000 times advertised on every social media i mean every social media that i have because i'm into working out and going to the gym it's always coming across like as an advertisement so also a lot of the people here on youtube that i'm just obsessed with like rep this brand so i'm very impatient and i hate waiting for stuff online so i ordered on december 7th of 2016 from Gymshark and I waited till like two o'clock in the morning for them to launch their like teal they have these one pants that are like a teal and gray color that are super popular and they make girls butts just look bomb like they make you look so good even if you don't have a butt they make you look like you have a butt so I was like I'm waiting those are like if I'm gonna order that's what I'm gonna order so that and then my usual just black is what I wanted so I waited till two o'clock in the morning and I ordered as soon as they were like back on the site because these teal ones sell out all the time so I ordered them I think there was a discount or like free shipping or something like that there was something special that they were doing as well. And the way their Instagram is set up, it's really cool. You can just literally shop through the Instagram page. So I did this. It came up, sent me an email that said like your confirmation and it said seven to 14 business days. I don't even think it said business days. It just said seven to 14 days and you will receive your package, whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I can wait that long even though I'm the most impatient person in the world. Needless to say, Christmas rolls around and I order stuff online and as I'm like getting the emails for it, I realize like in my receipts, because I keep all my online purchase like receipts on a saved folder, um, I realized that my package hadn't came. And at this point, that was like Christmas and I started being like, okay, well, I went through and counted the business days and I was like, well, if you figure in holidays, then I guess this would be a business day, whatever. I was like, I'm gonna give them till the end of the month. So I keep waiting. The package never comes. And I'm like, okay. So I get back to my confirmation and the last email I had received was like a confirmation and it had a tracking number on it. So I clicked the tracking number and literally it just goes to this page that is like, your thing cannot be found. So I'm like, okay, that's weird. So then I go to the legitimate website for tracking. And while I'm doing this, I realized that it's saying like you ordered this package 07 of 2016. So 07 is the month of July. And I'm like, no, I didn't order in July. So I was like, maybe they just give all the US people like the same tracking number. Well, then I was like, wait, why does it say US? So my, I did not know that this company was not a U.S. company because all the girls that I see repping this brand are from the U.S. So I assumed that it was, and usually when you order stuff online, it will have like, do you want to pay in their like money, like Euro, or do you want to pay in U.S. dollars? So that's how I kind of like know. Well, it never asked. I mean, it also was 2 o'clock in the morning, so I could have just been super tired and didn't notice it. I don't know. I wasn't really bothered by that because having seen other U.S. like athletes wearing these products, I was like, it can't be that difficult to get it. So I see that they're posting stuff on Instagram. I comment on one of the pictures and then didn't really get a response. I think they did finally respond to me, and I decided to just figure out how I could contact them. They have no way of calling them. Um, you can message them. They literally have like a Gymshark helpline on their Twitter account. So I messaged them and then I waited about like an hour and I was like, okay, it didn't get a response. So my impatient ass, um, sent like a ticket to the actual website. So 
when I sent that, I ended up getting a message back on the Twitter. So I was like, hey, I'm going to answer whoever comes to me first. So the person on Twitter tells me that, let me just read it. The person on Twitter, I said, I ordered from you guys, shipping said 7 to 14 days. It's been well over that and I haven't received anything. The tracking website says I ordered in July. This makes no sense to me at all, so I figured I would reach out. I also told them that I was a YouTube vlogger and wanted to find out what all the hype was on their products, but it's concerning me as I spent a lot of money with the company. So I was going to put like an actual number and then I was like, no, they'll, they're going to know. So... I went back and looked to see how much was taken out of my bank account and I spent over a hundred dollars like it was like a hundred and eight dollars on this stuff so I looked at my bank account because I'm like let me see if it's been withdrawn even from my account because if it hasn't then there's really no point of messing like messing around with it so I look and it's like the immediate time that I ordered my money was withdrawn out of my bank account like instantly so I was like, that's disheartening. Like you've had 108 of my dollars for a month. So I was like, that pissed me off. So then they end up messaging me back and they said, hello, just to clear up any confusion over here in the UK, we have our dates set differently, which is what you are seeing on your tracking info. I would recommend tracking this with USPS once pass overseas. Okay. That makes much more sense on the date situation. So should I be concerned that it has been 14 business days since I ordered? It was supposed to be shipped within 14 days. They said, well, if you could confirm your order number, I will be more than happy to take a further look into this for you. I said, no problem, gave them the number. Um, at this point, they had messaged me on the webs, like um, through the website and I had emails from them and I told them that I was talking to somebody through the Twitter. Um, and I also gave them my number as well. Like in the email, I had already given them my number, I think. So they told me back on Twitter, it has been a good job that you checked with us. It seems that it has completely been lost in transit. I'm happy to have a replacement sent out to you on Express if you are. I said, yes, please. I'm doing a review on the products on my YouTube. So the sooner the better. They said, no problem. I'll have them expressed out to you. I said, thank you. And then I ended up um, today messaging them and telling them thank you because I finally got them in the mail. So it only took like three days to get them too. Um, but while all of those messages on Twitter were going on, I was on my uh, email and they looked at my tracking, said that it had been lost, and then proceeded to tell me that the items that I had purchased, specifically the teal and gray pants were sold out at this time and that I couldn't get them. And I'm like, I waited up until two o'clock in the morning trying to get these pants. So that I was mad. I literally messaged back and I said, you guys took a hundred dollars or whatever out of my bank account. I immediately when my order was placed and I said, I want the items that I selected and wanted to purchase or else I want my money back. And it took a minute, but they ended up responding back and telling me, okay, well, we're going to get this shipped out. Like, I don't remember what they said, but it just seemed really sketch. And I was like, I'm so confused, right? Like, how were you sold out of it? And then magically they reappeared and magically I got exactly what I wanted. Because my, before I got the package, I was thinking to myself, like, if they were sold out, they probably just sent me whatever they wanted to send me. And I was trying so hard not to be rude, but I was mad. So I ended up getting my package. I honestly was worried because it ships through DHL. And as far as I know... USPS and DHL are two totally different things. So I do not know how that happened. But the cool thing was, is if you put your phone number um, in your order, the DHL people literally like, they text you and they call um, to deliver it, to make sure that it's delivered. So I was actually worried because it said you had to sign for the package. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers um, having to sign for their package, like in vlogs. And I was like, damn, I gotta go to work. Like I could not be at home signing for this package. And then I was also paranoid because people around me have been getting stuff stolen out of their mail. So I was able to actually get online and tell them, hey, leave it in this specific place. 
um, so that it was like hidden and no one could find it. And I also didn't have to be there to sign it. So I thought that was like really awesome. Like that's one positive about this. So then I opened the package and this clothing is seriously the best clothing that I have ever had for workout clothes. Now, I can tell you that I have not worked out in them yet, so I don't know how it holds up because I have a pair of Under Armour pants that I love, but as soon as I start sweating, it literally looks like I like peed myself um, because the sweat just like congregates to the booty. It just congregates to the booty and it's just unattractive. So I'm like, I only wear those pants when I know that I'm not gonna be, I mean, annihilated in sweat so which is like most of the time so I really can't ever wear them unless I'm in the civilian world just like walking around so these pants are so thick these are the ones that I ordered and like you can tell they're like ribbed under the butt and that's how it makes you look like you got a badonka donk um I thought like it was really awesome like sometimes when you order stuff online it comes and just looks super cheap, but like their, like even their thing to hold their tag, it says be a visionary on it. And then like their, the quality of just like the tags with the price on them are awesome. So these are actually called Flex Leggings V2. And I got light gray, mint green, medium. It looks teal to me, but um... I really like these a lot and it says they're dry moisture management so it wicks the moisture off your skin so I don't think that sweaty situation I told you about is going to be a problem but I ordered these and I ordered a size medium and I when I pulled them out my friend was like those look really small and I was like I don't think so because they are so stretchy I honestly think I could have gotten away with a small but I'm glad I got medium because it gives me extra cushion they're super thick in my opinion um and then i also ordered this black pair and when you fold the band down on this pair it's like gray on the inside so i really like them because um because i got the medium i can actually pull them up to where they're like to my belly button which i like because i like higher waisted leggings a lot better so the last thing that I ordered from Gymshark was this awesome, like, it's under bras, but Big Titty Committee can't wear freaking bras like this. So I bought it big to wear as a shirt, and then I'm going to wear, like, my actual sports bra underneath of it, which I'll probably wear, like, a Victoria's Secret, like, the ones that actually have, like, the cups in them. So that way I look like a girl in this shirt because it's so freaking cute. It's like, it looks like a sports bra. And it too came with um, the cool tag. It's moisture wicking as well. And this is called the Serene Sports Bra. So I bought this in a large. I definitely could have gotten a smaller size. Um, but I like it because it's basically a shirt on me. And the bottom says Gymshark. And I just thought like the all black, like those black leggings um, with that black top are like fire. Like I'm about to be a ninja in the gym in those black leggings. So... I definitely, definitely am going to be ordering from them again. Obviously, the situation with, like, my order, it got solved in a reasonable amount of time. Like, I wasn't having to go back and forth with them for a month, and there is a huge time difference. So, like, I don't feel like the days that it took for me to fix the situation really mattered because for them to be able to get it fixed within, like, a two-day period and get me what I ordered in three days shows that their customer service is on point for fixing the problem. So I did have issues, but I also think that it being the holidays is like something that's seriously taken into consideration. And I do fully intend on buying from them again because now I'm just obsessed. Like I was looking at the website today and there's like full outfits. Like I'm not a matchy matchy person in the gym. Like I don't like to wear a matching jacket with matching pants and all of this, but like they have this one outfit on there right now that I'm like, I need it. And the sweatpants have like pockets on the booty. They're just very cute. And I highly, highly recommend that if you're considering buying from them, that you go ahead with your bad self and do it because I like the quality better than Nike, better than Under Armour. And I don't know what more there is to say, except you're going to do it, do it because the quality is bomb. So... 
that is the end of this video. I'm so happy that I got to sit down and chit chat with you guys. Um, I am trying so hard to just get way better. I have so much stuff coming to my channel. I'm going to be doing 250k challenge again. I'm going to be trying to vlog that as much as I can. Um, and I'm just about to be pushing out content because there are too many of you guys subscribed to me and being loyal and when I'm gone for months still coming back and watching me and commenting on my channel and I do not say thank you enough. Like, thank you to all of you cyber hugs. If I could hug you right now, like, <gasps> I would. Um, but yeah, I'm also trying to upgrade that Instagram game. Um, and I think that's about it. I just... I'm excited to get back to YouTube. My life is very different. Um, if you guys have any specific videos that you want to see, leave them in the comments and I will get to them and try and push out content. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye.